It's Umsum time. What if everything was free? <laughs> cool. Now time for lots of pizzas and burgers. Oh, Umsum. If everything was free, <laughs> there would be no need to work and earn money anymore. Mm. <laughs> Some people might start eating a lot of free food. They may grow huge in size. Mm. Banks may start keeping their lockers open. Hmm. People who have a lot of money may not know what to do with it anymore. Hmm. Offices might get empty. Entertainment parks might get full. Hmm. People who just bought something very expensive will be shell shocked. Hmm. Diamond shops might get empty very, very soon. Security guards may have to find a new profession. Hmm. Thieves might get extremely bored. Oh. Hmm. Even aliens might shift to planet Earth. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. What if there were no farmers? Don't worry. I will start farming and grow pizzas for everybody. What? Oh, I'm some. <laughs> Firstly, if there were no farmers, there will be extreme shortage huh? of food. Mm. World will probably face a famine-like situation. Mm. Secondly, more than 60% of world's population is dependent on agriculture for its survival. Mm. If there were no farmers, ah! unemployment figures would jump up all around the world. Mm. Thirdly, meat industry is heavily reliant on animal fodder for its survival. Mm. If there were no farmers, meat industry ah! will face a severe decline. Mm. Lastly, more than 12% of global land area is currently being used for cultivation. Mm. If there were no farmers, forests will probably grow in their place. Mm. On the flip side, with extreme food ah! scarcity, people will probably stop oh. wasting food. They will even try to grow essential crops and fruits in their own backyard. Mm. Oh. What if huh? we were the size of an atom? Yippee! But wait, what is an atom? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, an atom is millions of times smaller than a human hair. Mm. If we were the size of an atom, everything will start looking big. Ah! An ant will probably huh? seem like ah! a dinosaur to us. Mm. Secondly, human beings will have to forget about traveling to different planets. Traveling just a few centimeters will be a huge <sighs> achievement. Mm. Thirdly, if we were the size of an atom, Ant-Man will probably be jealous of us. He may huh? lose his Avengers Club membership. Mm. Fourthly, laws of physics in the quantum world are mind-bogglingly weird. Mm. We may have to rewrite all the physics we have learned till now. Mm. Lastly, if we were the size of an atom, we would consume much less natural resources. Animals all around the world will be one happy lot. What if you were the last person on Earth? Wow! All the pizzas and burgers only for me! Oh, I'm some. <laughs> Firstly, you would no doubt be the loneliest person on Earth. Mm. Secondly, there would be no more borders. In fact, no more countries anymore. The entire world will be yours to roam. Mm. Thirdly, it will be a good thing if you are an animal lover. Else you will have a hard time as there will be no one else for company. Mm. Fourthly, fresh huh? food will be extremely hard to come by. Mm. But preserved and canned food will last for many a lifetimes. Mm. Fifthly, you will probably forget how to speak in a few years time as there will be no human to speak with. <laughs> Lastly, you'll have to avoid injuries and keep yourself in the best of health as there will be no more <sighs> doctors to help you out. Mm. 
what if we give up half of Earth、huh? for wildlife? Wow. But where will I stay? Here or there? Oh, um, <laughs> some. Firstly, this will be a historic step by mankind. Possibly the best step mankind has taken till now. Secondly, with no more humans to boss them <laughs> around, wildlife will be free and extremely happy. Thirdly, with so many new trees being added, global warming and climate change might take a back seat.、Mm. Fourthly, with such a large area reserved for forests, zoos might become a thing of the past.、Mm. Fifthly, people might start going to safaris on weekends instead of going to shopping malls.、Mm. Also, domesticated animals like dogs and cats、mm. might get jealous of their wildlife counterparts.、Mm. Lastly, for this to be successful, human beings will have to keep a check on their population as well on their greed.、Mm. What if we build a space elevator? Nah, I will take the stairs. I like to remain fit. Wow, <laughs> umsum! Space elevator is a planet-to-space transportation system. It allows vehicles from Earth's surface to directly <laughs> enter into space or orbit without the use of large rockets. <laughs> Firstly, space elevators will be great news for space agencies around the world. Why? Rockets currently used to launch satellites use a lot of fuel. Also, it is very expensive to <laughs> add extra weight to satellites.、Oh. Secondly, one-time cost of building a space elevator would be extremely <laughs> high, but it will prove to be cost-effective in the long run. Thirdly, neither the Taj Mahal nor the Eiffel Tower, but space elevator will be the hottest tourist destination. Lastly, one of the biggest dreams of bungee jumpers around the world would be to bungee jump from the space elevator.、Mm. Where does wind come from? Like me, it comes from Wonderland. Oh, um, some. Wind can be defined as the movement of air molecules on a large scale. Sun is primarily responsible for the creation of wind. How? Sun's rays heat up the Earth's surface every day. But they do so unevenly. Air present above land heats up much faster as compared to air present above the surface of rivers and oceans. This results in the creation of different air pressures. The heated air above land expands and rises up. The cooler air from the oceans rushes in and takes its place, resulting in a sea breeze. Now, at night, inland temperatures drop, making oceans relatively warmer than land. Hence, air above oceans expands and rises up. The cooler air from land rushes in to take its place, resulting in a land breeze. In this way, wind is born.、Mm. Why can't birds fly in space? They want to, but I keep on bringing them back. What? Oh, I'm so. How birds fly can be best explained using Bernoulli's、mm. principle. Wings of the birds play a major role in this. The shape of their wings causes air to move much faster、oh. above their wings as compared to the air、huh? moving below their wings. This difference in air pressure pushes up on their wings, creating a lift, thus allowing a bird to fly.、Mm. Also, definition of to fly is to move in or pass through air with wings.、Mm. Now, space is a vacuum; it has no air. Thus, without air, a bird will not be able to fly. Finally, even if birds were able to fly in space, they will not be able to swallow food.、Ooh. Why?、Mm. Because birds depend on gravity、Ooh. to push their food downwards.、Mm. What if we build a road around the world? Then I will name it the Umsum Highway. <laughs> wow, Umsum! Firstly, it will definitely find its name in the Guinness Book of World Records. Secondly, if it had a dedicated bike lane,、huh? then the entire world will get fitter much、mm. faster. Thirdly, it sounds like a good idea, but would prove to be extremely difficult to execute from geographical, financial, as well as political point of view. Fourthly, global trade will probably get a major boost. It will also prove to be a major engine of worldwide job creation. Fifthly, car companies would be one happy lot, while airplane manufacturers might not be too excited about it. Lastly, if all the countries were to agree on this, 
then it would prove to be one of the biggest show of solidarity by humanity.